what's happening youtube it's k mega 405 live from the 405 where i'm just your regular gamer talking to the intelligent gamers now the gloves need to be off microsoft needs to step the game up in 2017 there are so many and i mean so many people from every angle from x xbox pro xbox fans to the media to just you know xbox haters it's 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 apparent that there is this fear and there is this agenda to want to shut down the xbox brand and just basically just i guess kill off the xbox community as a whole i don't see the benefit of losing a company now i've said many a times that i'm not a fan of sony i wish somebody would buy out playstation uh, PlayStation has came out with some games this generation and you know this exclusive wise and a lot of them were fails that that's just a fact you know for all these games that they have come out with they've been hyped up they've been considered as whatever killer if it wasn't the Gears killer or the Halo killer or the Forza killer they've all had some type of failure branded on them and then nobody talks about them anymore but you know what Never forget. War is starting 2017 on fire. It ended 2016 on fire with The Last Guardian. And, um, you know, with 2017, we're already starting the year of greatness, you know, on fire. This game is going to sell phenomenal, and they were looking forward to it. Well, apparently, nobody supported this game. 148,000 units is very, very poor worldwide sales for a game um that they were hyping up so much yeah man that's that's unfortunate but you'll get small articles about that very vague give you a little bit tell you what the problem is on that but you know it's not having big major podcasts or so it only gets talked about from a certain angle while anything that the xbox has they they, they give you the gaming news the articles they give it all to you and that's not fair another thing that should be addressed is you know final fantasy with this boost or the beast mode for the uh pro it runs worse than it did when you didn't have this boost mode or whatever that should be addressed there should be other things that should be addressed as well but they want to talk about Horizon Zero Dawn, which there's nothing wrong with that. Horizon Zero Dawn looks great. It was one of the reasons why I got me a PlayStation 4 for myself. Uh, that Niho, Niho is a good game. Um, I'm glad that it sounds like the sales uh, is, is that, that it's sold. So nothing wrong with that at all. But the facts is that when you have a new IP, there's a lot of things that can go wrong. And to already start labeling, labeling this game as a Zelda killer is absolutely a slap in the face to a franchise that is as iconic as Zelda is. It is one of the games that should be up on the Rushmore. It is iconic. And to talk down to Nintendo with that fr premier franchise like I mean you know if you were talking about Splatoon or something yeah okay cool but you're talking about Zelda you just don't do that you know you know, every time that these guys hype up these games call them some kind of killer these games fail miserably now I do feel that this game will sell but we also have to understand that this is a PlayStation game this is a friendly uh, singular friendly game they Sony doesn't put out a lot of DLC so this game is a one and done. Now I'm not questioning if the game is great. I am saying that once this game is done and it's over with, then what is gonna keep this game sustainable? Not a lot of these PlayStation fanboys and girls that talk bad about Quantum Break, wasn't that one of the things that you said that made the game fail because it didn't have a multiplayer? Well, I will not have a multiplayer. So when that game gets played and it's done and it's not gonna be talking about, it's an afterthought, who you think is going to keep that we all know and that's the media the media will will tout it they'll tout it just like they did no man's sky just like they do the last guardian just like they did all of these playstation titles and now they've gotten so they've taken it so far that they've even got the attention of phil spencer finally is phil spencer being a nice guy i think he's been misled to think that 
this console war business is not going here when it's blatant now. You have people from Forbes, reputable, you know, people that have, uh, you know, that they get to actually show their fanboyism. That's not right whatsoever. You know, this is something that I've never seen in gaming that I've been gaming and, and that I could comprehend what's going on with reading articles and magazines. You know, you get the news, you hear it, and you, you know, and that's it. You hear the good, the bad, the ugly. That's it. And you make a you make a judge of that. And every company gets that work. Every company gets that's how it's supposed to be. But it seems every time that Microsoft is doing something positive, it's got to be shitted on because as a gamer, we should not be tolerant to this type of this type of fuckery. Not 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 one bit. The media is wrong for this. The you know to have that Forbes article was the worst thing that I've ever read when it came to anything. It was basically just saying one game has actually crushed the Xbox market, so the Xbox should just go ahead and give it up. You know, I, I it's collecting dust. Well, good for you, but my Xbox is not collecting dust. You know, I'm a gamer and. I know that the highs and lows that's been going on through Xbox is because of that. But now we're actually seeing what the media is doing to try to keep the Xbox brand down and really don't know why. It's had some good exclusives, but a lot of their exclusives has been failed years. They have not been, they have not been, they have not sustained what they were thinking. They're trying to bring this out with this Horizon Zero Dawn. This is going to be a, a one of these games that could be a hit or it could be a miss. While Halo Wars 2 is a fantastic game, should get some praise, get some love, but they don't talk about it. And with these fanboys and girls, they only just listen to these certain about Halo Wars 2. They're not even interested, but that game is going to sell well. It's going to do well. That's a fact. It's a really well-made game. Is that the media is scared of something, and they're scared of the Scorpio. That is a fact. From people that I talk to that's in the inside, saying this thing is epic. This is, this is the real deal. And the media wants to try to do everything they can to shit on that dream of this system being that Xbox is making game changing decisions. They're stopping the whole generation. So sale numbers is not going to even really matter. They're doing play anywhere where you can have just buy one game. It's going to put the pressure on Sony to do things that they're not. And that's a fact. But the media don't want you to know that like to hear your thoughts about it. I think the media is full of bullshit. Everybody have a good one. My kick game so Dwayne Wayne All that's missing is the flip ups and the fade I got Whitley's for days Kanishi why it's not a game no Riches in the bitches what I came for Then I switched my angle Was unchained like I'm the Django Now that shit dangled to my ankle